Well, uh, Nas also mentioned uh, that Stretch didn't set up Tupac. Uh, now, I interviewed, well, I didn't interview, but Vlad TV, um, you know, interviewed uh, Ed Lover. And we talked about that situation. And Ed felt, you know, who's from Queens as well, uh, felt very strongly that, you know, that Stretch did not set up Tupac and that Stretch's death had nothing to do with the the alleged, you know, Tupac yeah. setup, you know, that, that people thought. They were friends. The friendship and that bond was B.I., God rest his soul, Stretch and Pac. They were all cool, bro. Like, if you've seen the documentaries on Tupac and Biggie, these dudes, were they were tight. So you can't ask somebody to pick a side when you know that what happened to you did not come from that person. Well, I think, didn't Pac mention something about stretching one of the songs, as he did? Um, I mean, from what I understand, Pac was paranoid and felt that that might be a possibility. Oh, he definitely, you know, I, I think, I think from what I understand, cause you know, I, I know the outlaws pretty well. And okay. you know, like, like I'm, you know, I have relationships with people around, you know, who are around Pac. You gotta remember their age at the time. Yeah, everyone he, was super he kept, young. He kept the, uh, isolated from a lot of things that outlaws. He treated them like soldiers. Yeah. Like. Yeah. And you know, from, from what I was told from people around Pac during that time was that Pac was just concerned because uh, Stretch knew some of those other guys and he was kind of relaying information, you know, back and forth to try to alleviate things. But the fact that he was talking to some of the guys that they were, you know, like the Jimmy Henchmans of the world and so forth, that, that they were kind of beefing with, they felt uncomfortable having him around at that point. And, and I guess, like, there was also something to do with Pac was dissing Biggie and them, and, and Stretch didn't want to go along with that because he was cool with some of them dudes as well. Okay. You know what I mean? That's what I heard. But you you have your take only on this. Only reason, my opinion is, only reason, because yeah. I don't have no first-hand knowledge of this, is, number one, it happened on the anniversary date of the shooting incident at the Quad Studios with Tupac. Yeah. Happened on that, a year to the date. Associate of ours was out there. He came back a day or two later. Pac hugged him like he was Kadada. Hmm. That's all I'll say. Okay. Someone inferring that this guy who he hugged has something to do with Stretch's murder. That's my only reason for believing what I believe. Uh-huh. Got it. We'll never know, probably. Man's dead now, so. Oh, so, so the guy who Pac hugged is no longer alive. He's no longer alive. So the story probably died along with him. Exactly. Okay.